what are the questions that clients aren't asking you that you think they should be? Or is there anything in particular that you feel the need to bring up to them in these conversations? That, that, that's a good, a good question. I, I would say maybe, uh, maybe the question that, that we're not getting enough is, is you know, where are the best opportunities? Where, where are the places uh, that, have, that, that are presenting the best opportunities for us in the mm -hmm. long term? And, yeah, and, and opportunities are, um, we have to frame that for them because opportunities, while it might look great that that small cap stocks, for example, are down 45% at one, at one point. Opportunities need to be evaluated and un we need to understand that, that, that you know, for example, in that situation, they could continue to go down. And it's sure. really important that, that clients know and that we convey that we're not stock pickers here and we are not market timers either. We want to make sure that their portfolio is consistent with the financial plan. And yeah, there are going to be disruptions and opportunities. To me, the greatest opportunity is when a 50-50 portfolio isn't 50-50 anymore. It's 55%, 45%. That to me is the opportunity. You sell off 5% of the thing that maybe hasn't lost as much and buy the thing that is down to get it back in the proper alignment that is congruent with the financial plan. That's the message and that's what we're doing. That's where the real opportunities are. We're not gonna, we're not gonna sell everything one day and then buy another day. That is a fool's game and I'm not playing. I'm just not playing. We know that consistently, literally just, just watch and tweak and you know and just continue to see where that those disruptions and that you know where we where a client's portfolio might be out of alignment and get it back in alignment and then boom it pops that's really where the opportunity is we're not going to market time